The uh, Bush, uh, I saw your speech last night to the Arab people. What was that? Do I have to do everything in this country? They don't care about things like the dumb prisoners getting humiliated. The average Arab is looking at us like Jerry Maguire. They're like, hey, show me the money. We're wasting our time apologizing for idiots they don't care about. They want money from that oil that's under their feet. They want to sit down on a nice couch like anybody else after work, look at their fat, happy kids and $200 sneakers and iPods. <laughs> and you know what? That will solve everything because money solves violence. What is so hard for people to understand about the fact that there's very little killing in Beverly Hills or Kuwait, and there are always shootings in East New York and Palestinian refugee camps. You kill all the crazy bastards in Iraq, and in five years, the only sign of radical Islam will be a bunch of Arabs TiVoing Hezbollah, where are they now, on VH1. <laughs> Oh, nothing. Hey. 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 Good to see on? you, fella. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, guy. What's I'll going say, on? Hey. What's going on today? Oh, well, today, I'm glad you asked, guy, because <laughs> today <laughs> President Bush went on two Arab TV networks. Oh, that was yesterday. To denounce the abuse of Iraqi prisoners by U.S. soldiers. Here's a look. Ready? We're a great country because we're a free country, and we do not tolerate these kind of abuses. The people in the Middle East must be assured that uh, that we will investigate fully, that we will find out the truth. <laughs> he goes to that free well a lot, doesn't he? But what do you guys think? <laughs> Quinn, the man's out of touch. We have a seven... <laughs> He's cutting taxes. Jesus. We have a, <laughs> Would you shut up? We have a, he's so <laughs> eager. I'm eager. Yeah. I'm a, Dove, you're trying to score. We don't like it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not trying to score. Shut up and go ahead. I can't wait to the exciting wait, speech. Listen to me. It's, it's speech. not a speech. I'm saying he's cutting taxes. We have a $7 trillion no dollar national debt. I don't even think he believes it's a real number. Is it a real number, trillion? No, I think somebody must have said something. Somebody said, Mr. President, you know we have a seven trillion dollar debt. He was like, seven trillion, billion, bazillion. Get out of my office, boy. You know what, though? Look. No left. He didn't even say sorry, though. He didn't actually apologize. Why should he? He shouldn't. You know what? They drag, they drag oh, our bodies through the street like dead rugs, and we say nothing, and nothing happens on the news. We take a couple sexy photos, and everybody's pissed off. <laughs> It's true. I mean, people are making... I think the Arabs are laughing at us going, boy, they really are soft. All they want to know is how they're going to get their, you know, Kazan each out of the scene. They don't care if we do this to a couple of dregs. They don't give a damn about those idiots. I don't like the way they're blaming the soldiers, though, man. That uh, You could tell. If you watch the pictures, they're not, they're, they're not, like, having a good time. When you're doing foul stuff to a person and having a good time and it's, you and it's off the cuff, face. it's like, hey, yeah, yeah. Get, get, but it, it's very, like, you get on top of him, you get on top of him, <laughs> you get... It's, you know, it yeah. came down from somebody. Man. Really, that, that, I, you can't blame those kids. For I, wanna, that. I really do want to meet that girl, though. She's pretty. That she girl like that little, girl. Girl. She's a little. She's a little dominatrix. She had the little. She was looking Gentleman at the on the leash today. Yeah, Gentleman on the leash. I like yeah, that. Yeah, they like that. I'm sure they're gonna, that'll go off a big. She's they, a hot number. That she's gonna. She's gonna be like 250 thing. American to get that done. <laughs> but let me ask you this. What? First of all, somebody explain <laughs> to me. It's like 300. Oh, the hell with it. I just didn't hear. Let's move on. What's next? Jesus, Colin, what's wrong? I just I had a mood swing. Oh. Disney, has <laughs> Disney has refused to release Michael Moore's new documentary, Fahrenheit 9-11, that links President Bush with bin Laden's family and criticizes the war in Iraq. Here's more on why he thinks Disney did it, and followed by Michael Eisner. Disney was afraid of offending uh, Jeb Bush uh, because they were up for millions of dollars of tax abatements and tax incentives in the state of Florida. Any company has the right to distribute or not to distribute. We have, we uh, informed both the agency that represented the film and all of our companies that we just didn't want to be in the middle of a politically oriented film during election year. Right. Now, I hate to defend this uh, guy that I hate, Michael Moore, but... Are you trying to tell me, you just said, we don't want to do a politically oriented film in an election year. Yeah, you don't want anything with any kind of content. That's a bad idea. You know, just keep making the usual him. stupid, awful stuff you make. <laughs> Eisner and the rest of these dumb Hollywood idiots. It's all part of the right-wing Jewish uh, conspiracy. Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. mother. <laughs> you, 
You really are an independent <laughs> film waiter. Yeah, he really is. is. He really is trying to make a stand. What the, the hell? The I'm Jewish writer. And cut. And we'll do that again. Right man. Man. You think... <laughs> Doug, yeah, right. Doug, there you is. think you're kidding, but guess what? All the people on the left would go, yeah, there is a right-wing Jewish uh, right-wing conspiracy. No, and they'll say, one's followed and pulled. What's that? They would say that there's a left-wing Jewish conspiracy. No, but a lot of people say it's a right-wing one, too. Wolfowitz, Pearl... Wolfowitz, Pearl, and uh, what's the other? Right. What's the, the Jews thing? do run a lot of shit. Could you stop eating and pay attention? What are you, homeless? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> answer the question. <laughs> the Listen. bottom line is, do you agree with Michael Moore as much as it disgusts me to agree with him? I do agree Why? with him. But I, uh, I agree with him, too. Yeah. I hate him. Why? Why do I hate him? The guy, the guy no, is good, man. Please. He's, he's an honest well, dude. It's, it's great. You get it's, it's good for him. He's, he's honest, an honest subjective. guy, man. He's really honest. It's that, great for him because his book got banned and went to number one. So maybe right. it's, it is know. good for him. It's all hype. That's all he's doing is hyping it up so that people will be like, oh my God, he's we have not to see this movie. It up. Disney's what hyping it up. But he's, about? he's getting into it because it, 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 the only negative publicity is going to help him. He How could care. anybody argue with what Moore is saying? And yes, I am hungry. How, How could anybody argue with what Moore is saying? About what? About not About what Moore is saying. There's obviously some sort of tax issue in Florida. Which sure. Why else wouldn't they want to put it out? You want of to lose $35 million? Oh, of course. Well, they lost care. $75 million on Alamo. He, it serves them. <laughs> it serves Disney. They want to get slick. They want to do business with me or Max. You want to be independent. Right. Talk. But let me tell you this about Michael Moore. Honest. Michael Moore, as you call him. He was so honest that I'll never forget in his play. And this is one of the reasons I hate him. Well, when he well, said, what play, uh, Colin? Stop so making dumb. 1946 references that this nobody knows. <laughs> stop always trying to prove you're smarter than everybody. We never heard of Michael Moore's play. We saw that dumb goddamn documentary he did. And we're going to see this one. So let's, let's, stay, let's stay with everybody else. You know, when Michael Moore first started, <laughs> we don't care. Yeah. He is right. We, this <laughs> dude, he is from, right. From what the average guy knows, Michael the, Moore is honest. We don't want to go back the to play, the CIA films. The there, play, Colin. That, that play last year, by the way, it ran for about nine months in London wait, and stop, New York. Wait a minute. Sorry. Did anybody hear this play, please? But plays are fake anyway, right? Nobody, <laughs> Colin. Not, not one person. Stop trying to be above us all. <laughs> Liz, did you hear folks, about this play? Folks, he really should come with a pipe, he, the little wrist. Oh, Michael Richard Moore. Moore. I really yeah. apologize. That I was trying to even be above you by having heard of a play. Hey, I'm in a play. It's very respectable. Go yeah, on. Yeah, it's on. called the Why Marijuana I Slept Laws. with Can Palmer I get Brady. My... <laughs> 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 Is that a snap? Colin, you're dealing with illiterate. You're dealing with illiterate. I mean, it's not if like they I had said a play it. together. If they were starting a play, it would call the illiterate dumb. monologues. I can't take this kind of right. ignorance. Oh. You understand what I said? A play, <laughs> and you went on a rampage and dummy, of course. Look who's on Why your am side. I Why am I dumb? Leave him alone. Why are you calling him? You you're picking on the dumbest person. <laughs> he that shows you're not smart. <laughs> that he proves is, he's not smart. He is the people. Pick on this smart looking. No, he no, represents no, us. No. Most of us didn't know Michael Moore did a play. We know that dumb movie he did with the uh. cartoon in it. That's all we know of this goofy Why pedophile he... face. <laughs> All they have to do we is, don't care. We know him from the from the Oscars. All, but, all, the Oscars. all they have to do is animate this thing, and they can say whatever the hell they want. <laughs> do, uh -huh. know, all right, does anybody all right. have any weed? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial. <laughs> City officials in Miami are hoping to recruit more black police uh -huh. officers by dropping the swimming requirement for applicants. <coughs> what do you have to say to that, cuz? Well, here's the big problem. You know, people can't swim, admit We it. can swim. You stink. Oh. If you could swim, you wouldn't be in this video. We, <laughs> we, oh, we, oh, we do swim. We know we can swim. We do swim. I'm gonna get ready. Hey, hey, look. Let I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna get ready to be scientific oh, about it. Finish. When we when we grow up, black people, it, swimming is not a competitive thing. We don't do any sport where I can't say your mother afterwards, your mother ain't, you know, talk about your mama or right. or say, hey, you ain't, you suck. It swimming is a very lonely, very we, we're very so chain snatching. But somebody's pretty good at that. Whoa. <laughs>
Wow. Hey, we're, think- we're really we're community type of people, man. So that's why we do it. We're very good at team sports. We don't play golf. We don't swim. We barely play tennis now. We really don't. It's just it's not enough Colin. Colin. Talk. Blacks, Colin. Colin. Blacks don't swim. <coughs> white people don't dance. We do. Hydrants. We do swim. Here's it's the just crux of the issue. issue. We're not proficient at. We're not competitive at it. But if we was to get competitive, you, know you keep opening your white mouth. <laughs> we're gonna start swimming, <laughs> and then you're gonna be Colin. talking about and take over swimming you're too. Right. You're right. Colin. Colin. That was a black guy doing a black voice. This is Haitians. <laughs> That is saying that, am I right? I yeah, mean, isn't that. that how they got here? They should be. They should put a badge on them when they get here. The whole hey, police department he's should got be a Haitians. Point. The problem is, listen to me. Haitians Would you do listen to me, please? Well, I'll play Dovis right now. Say something. He's got a solution. Dovis. Yes. Dovis. yes. Dovis. Go ahead. Yes. Listen to me. Don't the swing. Just go yes. into The black man makes a bad swimmer. However. The black man. However. Yes. We can swim. Shut up. However. We, we all can know swim, they, Shut up. However, <laughs> Let him we all know they have the upper hand in the 100-yard dash. Now, <laughs> listen to me. Don't look. Just tell him. That's exactly what no, no, Get it out there now. That was it, Colin. Now no, no. he's sitting there. No, no. Now he wasn't it. Wasn't it. Now he's going to try it. to hey, add anybody. anybody he doesn't have the upper hand in the 100-yard dash. Has yeah. anybody ever been mugged here and then had the guy make his escape via waterway? <laughs> there. Now shut up. You are Wow, you saved that. You're really good. You want to play games with me? Bro, as I'm much rolling. as I love Wait. you, you saved your ass with that one. Because I'll right. tell you, I wasn't even going to not put you on again. I was going to boot you up this episode. <laughs> Colin, why can't Tony Kameen ever say anything? I Tony, said a good one earlier. I know. You're fine with that, Tony? Yeah, I just don't that's want good you, enough. It's not that I give a damn about you. I don't want you bad me to other comedians. I want you to say that Colin's a great guy. You they know already know. Mean, they know you I can't talk they, right. But I don't know you. <laughs> I saw you at the Comedy Awards. Did you say I can't talk right? Yeah. What does that mean, Tony? You have a problem with enunciation. No, Tony, I don't. I yes, you do. Oh yes, you do. God. Tony, Damn. let me explain something to you, Tony. We don't know each I'm other that, well, that well at all. We don't know each other. Okay? We don't know each other. You've heard. One of the reasons I have a problem with enunciation is because every day I have spontaneous new things to say. Unlike your friends that think they're so alternative, and yet they're doing the same old stuff every day, right. I like to work off the cuff for real. So once in a while I get a little upset and nervous, and I spittle, and I stutter. But, Tony, I find it endearing. I know, Tony, but I'm just trying to explain when you bring that message back is to it friends. A, is it that last one around. was pretty good, though. The punch you know, I'm sorry, right? you mumbled. What? You don't have what? Oh, oh Dove. Jesus! <laughs> Dove's still pissed. He actually turned on me. Dove. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. No, no. Go sit. All right, Colin, so. he's saying that you mumble. I, I, no, he's saying no. that the, the word... Go ahead. What are we going to say? Anybody? I have listen, a love. Listen, you know What's what? The subject? This sucks because now, because you have to swim. If you're a police officer, almost surrounded by water, you should have to swim. And because you're black and you didn't have your own Why pool you when you were swim? a kid, it, that shouldn't matter. But but he, 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 what are we going to make sh- basketball requirement Bobby, now? Sh- Bobby, you wait. throw one more thing. <laughs> when one black you you're, you're surrounded by Stop water it. doesn't mean you're going to Let me say be something. Chasing. First of all, Wednesday. Bob says your own pool like you grew up some rich white neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. This son of a bitch was in juvie for yeah. 11 years. <laughs> I'm you not kidding. Judy? I he was in juvie. For what? First Shut time Bobby saw a pool, he was naked <laughs> and babysitting. And he acts like he had a nice pool and a happy childhood. Your childhood was awful. I was in juvie. Shut Dove mouth. acts what? like he was in juvie. What do you mean I act Dove, like I was in juvie? You're getting a little out of control today, Dove. Dove likes the box. Watch out. Dove's I got some like fast hands. I'm just saying What's that. What's that? I let people butter let up just, my ass? Let me just say <laughs> something. Let me just say something. Okay. This is, this is really crap. Right. I'm serious. It this is. is crap. If you, it's swimming. You can't. You can learn to swim in five minutes. Well, and these guys don't want to go in and actually, learn how to I swim. I was not a good swimmer. I used to swim like that all the time because they say in New York, swimming style. Bobby, swim, looking at your towel so nobody steals your stuff. People can swim. Time. This is. I just get sick of y'all qualifying what we can do. We admit that you said you couldn't do it. He just said I'm I sick of y'all qualifying what we can do. You know what? We don't know. We. I didn't say we don't swim well. We don't swim as a as a thing, but we can swim. Nobody's asking for the cops to have a medal in the breaststroke. I'll tell you exactly what it is. You're gonna swim 150 feet, and these guys are complaining. Whoever snatched the chain and dove into the ocean. <laughs> Dove, you said that was that last. You already time. said it, <laughs> stupid. I know, but you nobody laughed at the same point. joke twice. Shh. You stay they like it. Listen. Shut up and let them laugh. There's two Before points that both have you. to be addressed. Point one: Yes, we know if you decided to swim, you might be like every other sport, excel past us in no time. But be honest. The bottom line is this: the reason you don't swim, community room, no pool. 
Rikers, no pool. That's why you're great at ping pong. Because any sport that can be played in a prison, any sport can be played in the day room, you master. The Chinese are good at ping pong too. Nothing for that one, folks. <laughs> the day room, and I got nothing. You know, see, the fact that you know so much about black people is really a curse to you and your white friends. What? They, they, I'm gonna tell you why. Colin has a real knowledge of like black people for some reason so when he says these black things he thinks that all white people know about community day rooms and you don't <laughs> so he's a man in purgatory black, <laughs> black people don't like him and white people don't understand him he don't know where he's going <laughs> I agree with it. Bob Kelly's degrading to women with that remark. It was very offensive. In about two months, America will be handing over control of Iraq to the Iraqi people. Whether this will be a success or a disaster is anyone's guess. But one thing's for sure, I can't pronounce success. There are no easy choices. <laughs> to give you an idea of what this is like, it's time to play Iraq. Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Okay. All right. Let's make a deal with Iraq. Okay, this is Salah. Now, where are you from? I am from Karbala. Karbala. Woo! Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. oh. oh, you got a lot of fans here. Salah's here tonight representing the Iraqi people. Salah, are you ready to make a deal? Okay, I'll try. All right, Salah, I'm going to start out with $30 billion for infrastructure. And I didn't mean to have my voice cracked then, but it did. Okay. And some nice, large American military presence. Okay. <laughs> Now, the June 30th deadline's approaching. The United States is supposed to leave. But maybe it doesn't have to be that way. Do you want to keep all that you have right now and have the U.S. stay for an extra few months, probably causing more resentment and bloodshed, or do you want to try to run the country yourselves and go with the boys behind curtain number one, Salah? Well, the, the United States has been there long enough. Oh. Nothing good can come of them oh. staying. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, I think I'll go with curtain number one. <laughs> all right, let's see what's behind curtain number one. Open it up. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a civil war, I'm sorry. Terrible. Well, Salah, that didn't work out, but I don't want to leave you empty-handed, so I'm going to give you another chance. Okay. All right, you can stay with your civil war and hope it gets better, or you can bring back the international community to keep the peace for a while, then have an election where you can choose between curtain number two or curtain number three. Salah, what do you say? Uh, I think I'll try curtain number three. Okay, you made your choice, but... Before we open that, let's see what you passed up behind curtain number two. Please open up curtain number two. What did you yeah. pass up? Salah. So, uh, oh, my. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, no. The people have elected a fundamentalist theocracy. I hope you women don't like to drive. Good thing you didn't go with that one, Salah. So, uh, but let's see what you want instead. Come on over here. Let's see. Curtain number three, it's a, uh, oh my God, a democratic Iraq. Yes, you finally have a nice Iraq. Salam, I hope you have people figure out how to make it a reality because it's getting a little annoying for us. Thanks for playing Iraq, let's make a deal. We'll be right back after this message. President Bush went on Arab TV last night to smooth things over. It's always best to open with a joke. Give George W. some openers that would have appealed to an Arab audience. Robert Kelly. Yeah. My re-election campaign, $40 million. The war with Iraq, $80 million. Pictures of Iraqi prisoners playing naked twister, priceless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Doug, Doug Davidoff. All right. <laughs> First off, I'm serious. Does anybody have any weed? <laughs> All right, no, I think maybe he could have opened with, you know, like, just come out to you, look, uh, my name is George Bush. Uh, you can call me Sheriff. Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> In America, or more importantly, Texas, taking pictures of naked men piled on top of another naked man is a sign of respect for one another, for one's country, and for another man's ass. 
<laughs> so stop being a bunch of crap, babe. All right, Tony, come in. First off, <clears throat> he should open with, I don't speak Arabic, so you'll just, I'll just clear my throat and hope I'm saying something. <laughs> but I'm glad to be here on Arabian Idol. Sorry about all that death and destruction. She bangs, she bangs. All right, <laughs> Patrice O'Neill. <clears throat> Hey, everybody. Hey, can I do a George Bush brother? Hey, everybody. Two Jews walk into a bar, buy it, and then blow up a guy sitting in a wheelchair. Waka, waka. <laughs> hey, hey, come on. The woman soldier thought that the naked terrorist was carrying a stick of dynamite. Uh, dynamite? Dynamite, sorry. <laughs> but I guess he was just glad to see her. Oh, come on, folks. <laughs> just jostling around. <laughs> Those pictures, those pictures in the treatment of, of the prisoners were terrible. <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> would you rather have Saddam or Saddam me? Get it? Get it? Come on, folks! But seriously, where are those weapons at? All right. That is our show. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Well, uh, let me ask you this. Um, why did tonight's show get a little uh, out of hand? Did we? Well, I mean, it was just, there was a lot of, I mean, tonight's show, I think, will probably go down in history as the moment that we either blew up and became this giant show that's on, you know, respectably, or the night when they go, why did that show get canceled? It was pretty funny. <laughs> either way, it's going to be based on tonight's show, I think. What was going on? What was your internal dialogue in your head while this show was going on tonight? Oh, I was thinking about my trip to Japan, child, happy childhood memories of playing basketball, sweat, you know. I was trying to ignore the fact that Dove and Bob were ruining the show, and that, see, here was a strategic error, is that Dove thought you can top Patrice. You never get louder than Patrice. He wins every time. I learned at the table, I don't like to admit it, he's too loud, you can't beat him. Just roll with him. And he said, I'm going to take Patrice down, but it can't be done. I've tried. I'm the host. It doesn't work. So this, <laughs> this show is getting a lot like professional wrestling. Is that what I'm... Uh... Yeah, tonight was definitely uh, had that good vibe. That good WCW vibe. 